No. Yeah? Like, well, when it comes to black people in this world, right, would you say that we're treated differently than other nationalities? I do believe yeah? so. Yeah? Would you say in a negative way or in a positive way we're treated different? Just ask him basic negative questions. Because not everyone's going to say that. Negative, innit? Go on, bro, go on. Yeah? Bro, we're not from Old Trafford, yeah? From OT, yeah? Area. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Best mate was a white kid, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go on. See, me and him, when we was young, we used to go out teething, but you know how we worked it? Yeah, yeah. I'm the one who walked in the shop. Mm. Yeah, security following us, mm. white brethren, yeah, could go fill up his pockets. No, no drama, no nothing. Well, they're looking That's, at you. But they're looking at me. You yeah. know what I mean? So and you was the distraction then. I was the distraction. All right. That's just such a black problem. So, so we gotta understand, like, if the life is set this way, and if there was a god, yeah. then why is he allowing things to be so biased against black people? How come people are always looking at us for a problem, but everybody else gets away with it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And what the Bible actually tells us about that, yeah, is this, check it out, yeah. So this is the book of Amos, chapter 3, yeah. and verse 1. Because the Bible is deep, and it actually answers those kind of scenarios that you just told me right then about your boy. So Amos, uh, Amos chapter 3, and verse 1 says, Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So God speaking there to a people called the children of Israel, and he's saying out of all the different people on the earth, God only knows one people, therefore the children of Israel. And here's what God says about them people, he says, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So God has chosen one people, and because he chose those people, he says, they're his responsibility. When they do wrong, it's them who will get punished. For example, yeah, you and your boy were caught stealing, yeah, and your dad rocks up and he sees you both stealing. Who's getting beat? Your boy's not getting beat because you're the child of your father. So out of all different races of people on this earth, right, in the book of Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22, it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So God declared the people of Israel, which is a race of people, and it turns out they were black people. He says, these are my children, yeah? So when out of every race in the world that does wrong, which people is gonna, God gonna punish the worst? His children, yeah? So what I'm trying to show you today, brother, is the reason why you, as do me and my brothers over here, we suffer more than these other nationalities, is because we are God's children. And we're representing God. So when we do bad, we're making the man upstairs look bad. And God actually made this prophecy against our people, right? Because, for example, yeah, if I was to give you two words, right? The two words are blessing and curse, yeah? And I was to say, right, black people in this world, what are they living? Are they living a blessing? Or would you say black people living a curse in this world? Living a curse, really. But... It's hard to say it because you don't want to think that. Yeah, but yeah. the reality is, our lives are harder. It's hard for us to make money, so we do it in legitimate ways. And people discriminate against us. That whole situation in Ukraine that was going on, everyone screaming Ukraine, free the Ukrainians, get Ukrainians out of Ukraine and into other countries. You're not, yeah? But a lot of people were. And there was a lot of black people in Ukraine, but no one was helping the black people. There's videos of trains leaving Ukraine, and it was only white people on the trains. And they were kicking the black people off. You get me? So we need to understand, like, well, obviously, because see, if black people are living a curse, then white people were blessed. They were getting out. So the Bible actually speaks on that distinctly. So let me show you about this blessing and this curse real quick. So this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15, it says, because what I'm trying to show you is if God is punishing us this way, there must be a reason for it. If there's a reason for it, there must be a reason to get out of this punishment. So verse 15 says, But it shall come to pass, if I will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God is speaking to his children, and he's saying, Look kids, Israelites, if you guys don't listen, and keep my commandments, then I'm gonna put all of these curses on you for not doing what I said, yeah? So I wanna show you some of the curses that God said would happen to the Israelites, and then you gotta think, 
which people are going through this. Yeah? So check this out. Verse 32 says this real quick. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hands. So it says your sons and daughters will be taken from you, given to another race. You'll have no power to get your kids. Verse 41 says, Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. So it's saying you're going to give birth to kids, and not only will another race take them, and you'll be powerless to get your kids back, it's saying that your kids were going to go into captivity. So part of God's punishment on his children for breaking his commandments was that your kids were going to go into slavery at the hand of other races. So now what race of people do you know went into slavery and had their kids taken? Yeah, we know, man. So we've got to ask the question, why did good God let us have that happen to us? The Bible is saying, because we didn't want to listen to God and keep his commandments, we brought this curse on ourselves, you follow? So that's what I'm trying to tell you, brother. The reason why you was being looked at and the white brethren was not being looked at is because you're a child of Israel. And in Amos chapter 3 and 2, it says God will punish us when we commit iniquities. When we do wrong, yeah, we get a more severe punishment than other people, you get me? So I ask you this question, bro. If God gave you the choice of choosing, if you want to live a blessed life from a cursed life, what would you choose for yourself? I'm going to choose the life I've lived already, man. I ain't going to change nothing because I feel that's the life that's me. Obviously, we want to live a blessed life, mm. but living the curse what makes me who I am. Yeah? So I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. Mm. So you would never change your ways, not if there was even a better way to start living. Like for example, you've been living a certain way and it sounds like you're comfortable in the life you're living, yeah? yeah but yeah. what if there was a better way where things were even better for you? Would you want to live that way? Well, it goes saying, doesn't it, man? Yeah? And if that better way was basically now God is blessing you, God is helping you in your life, mm. rather than God is against you, what would you rather have God being for you or God being against you? For me. Yeah? Yeah, but to say the truth, brother. I feel like God's with me already. I feel like I'm living, living a blessed life. Mm. When I look around me and see some of the shit people are going through, I feel blessed already, bro. Okay, and that, that's a good way to look at life, because at the end of the day, we are blessed to a degree that, look, you're healthy, you're standing here, you're not begging on the street, we're doing all right. But at the same time, brother, the Bible shows there's certain curses, yeah? You get me? And one of the main curses is this right here. Let me just show you the, one of the main curses that we want to try and avoid. Yeah, that God has put on, on people, yeah? Check this out. So this is the book of Revelation, yeah? Chapter 21 and verse 8. And it says this. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So the main curse is that people who don't follow God, yeah? and they do all of these different sins, when they die, yeah, then they get judged. They're gonna to go to a place called the lake of fire where you get eternal torment, you get me? So no matter how blessed you might think you're living right now, if you're not following God's commandments, yeah, ultimately it's gonna to lead to a curse. Because for your short life, it will lead to eternal punishment. So you wouldn't want that, would you? You get me? Nobody wants that, no one wants to be suffering. So what I'm just going to show you real quick, brother, is what we got to do to avoid that curse that is on a lot of people that don't follow God. So check this out, yeah? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, and verse 14. And it reads, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. So the Bible says, if you want to be blessed, Rather than being cursed and burning for eternity, you have to do God's what? Commandments. So rather than just living by the government standard, yeah, of you gotta pay taxes to the government, etc. etc., it's better to follow God's commandments. Because we'll be rewarded for keeping God's commandments, yeah? So I just wanted to show you two commandments before I let you do your thing, yeah? Alright. So check this out, yeah? We're blessed for keeping God's commandments. And one of God's commandments is in Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 8, and it reads this. And the swine, because it divided for hoof 
yet cheweth the coat, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. So the Bible is telling us the swine is a dirty animal. I don't eat pork. Or you don't eat bro. pork. Respect. Praise them all, sir. All right, yeah, that's man. That's proper. That is there any other foods that you don't eat? Uh, pork, you know. Pork, Just pork, yeah. Are you are you a man that likes to eat like seafood? Yeah, yeah. What kind of seafood are we having? This really, no shellfish, really. No shellfish, yeah. No crab. No lobster. <laughs> yeah, it's coming there, there that you know, and it's dirty. Yeah, yeah you're like the Bible, I'm about to show you, you can't eat them foods, isn't it? Well, you already don't eat that, do you? All right. Like you would eat it if it was offered to you. Like, check this out, yeah? So you're always saying, because you're like, you come from a Rasta background, yeah? You don't eat pork, yeah? But a lot of Rastas, I don't think they realise there's something else they can't be eating as well, so I'll show you this. Oh, so he's a vegetarian thing, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, man. Well, that's that's a good diet to have, isn't it? That way you're not eating nothing that's bad. But check this out real quick, yeah. So verse eight says this, or verse nine says, "These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales shall ye eat. And whatsoever have not fins and scales, ye may not eat. It is unclean unto you." So the Bible says, yeah, whatever comes out of water, it's got to have fins and scales to be able to eat it. Yeah, so you know when you see crab or lobster, it don't have fins and scales. So according to God, we can't eat that. You get me? When we break God's commandments, we get punished for that. So you know, you, you shouldn't be eating that. If you want God to be on your side, brother, don't yam that. You get me? So like, what is, you believe in God or what do you believe? Yeah, I believe there is a God, bro. Do you, yeah. Mm. Because Tell you why I believe him because I pray to him sometimes. Praise the most high, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know, I appreciate your time anyway, well, King. Yeah. You know what? What's your channel? Oh, let me give you a YouTube now. It's called yeah, yeah. Hebrew Elevation. Just pull it up now, King. Come on, come on. Yeah, I know the problem. Hebrew Elevation, elevation. Never becomes too much. I know that sound. Yeah, 